Alright guys, Dominic here for KitGuru and today we're looking at another graphics card, it's another GTX 1080 Ti. This one's from MSI and it's the Gaming X Trio. Uh, first impressions are, it's obviously a massive card, it's, it's a, a triple fan card which is unusual for their Gaming X line. It's actually the first triple fan um, cooling solution on the gaming, on any gaming card. But it's a tier below the Lightning series which is the flagship. So this Gaming X Trio is actually, it's almost considered the, the de facto flagship because the Lightning series is limited edition and essentially they're basically all gone now. So if you want the fastest MSI card you can get at the minute, that is the GTX 1080 Ti Gaming X Trio. It's received a factory overclock um, and obviously we tested it in OC mode which is enabled via the MSI gaming app. And so in OC mode, it's got a base clock of 1569 megahertz and a boost clock of 1683 megahertz. Obviously, GPU boost 3.0 will take it higher than that, but um, compared to a reference founders edition, that's roughly 100 megahertz faster out of the box. Um, so obviously, happy days. Now, we'll just in this video, essentially, we're just going to give you a quick summary of the card. We're going just going over the features, the design, and a bit of performance, but. The full review is over on kitguru.net where we put all the charts, all the photos, um, where we go everything over in detail there. This is more just to give you a general overview of the card and its relative performance. So we'll start with the design. Now as I mentioned, it's obviously got these this triple fan cooler. And crudely speaking, you can think of this card as the MSI 1080 Ti Lightning cooler stuck onto a gaming X PCB. So you've got uh, Triple fans, the two outer fans you can tell are bigger, those are 100mm, the inner fan is 92mm. Um, turning it sideways as well, you can see it's, it's, quite, it's quite hefty, it's um, tall, it's two and a half slot card, um, and it's also pretty heavy, it's around 1.4 kilos. Uh, there's actually a little bracket included in the box, which is meant to help the dreaded GPU sag, although I didn't actually notice much at all when I plugged it into our test system, so... You know, I guess it it does depend on what motherboard you're using. If you've got those steel reinforced PCI slots, that sort of thing. Uh, you can also tell it's got more of a color neutral um, color scheme. I guess it's more color neutral than the Gaming X 1080 Ti. Traditionally, the gaming series is very black and red, um, but we're starting to see that slowly phased out. You can see the um, the, the brushed uh, the brushed metal back plate is very nice. It's got this two tone look and this kind of much more subtle MSI Dragon logo. It's very tasteful in my opinion. There is still a bit of red. Um, I'll, show, I'll show you a bit closer in the B-roll if you can't see it here. But there's still some red LEDs just cut into these sort of wings on the cooler. Uh, they're red only and you can see, even with the lights off, they're red plastic. So it's, it seems to me it's landed in a bit of no man's land. You either, to my mind, you either go um, one or the other. So They've gone with this color neutral scheme, but then still put a bit of red on. So it's not really enough if you want it for a black and red build. But at the same time, the red accents are probably going to annoy you if you want something properly color neutral to fit in any color, any color scheme. It's not the end of the world, really. Once you've got it installed in your motherboard like that or facing you like that, you're obviously not going to be able to see it because you can turn the LEDs off. So it's really not the end of the world. Now, Leading on to the RGB lighting, you can actually see here there is this kind of small LED strip just um, just on the edge of the card, which is actually on the back plate. Yeah, it's attached to the back plate. Um, and that is obviously controllable in MSI Mystic Light. And I'll show you a few shots of that now. It's very funky, it lets you do all the funky things, um, rainbow wave, color cycle, whatever you want really. And that's a similar design to the Lightning card. It's obviously a bit more subtle on the Gaming X Trio, which is quite nice. But I think it adds just a bit of pizzazz, a bit of a nice touch. And overall, to be honest, I think this is a good looking cooler. The, the red isn't ideal, but you're not going to see it. If you turn the LEDs off, once it's installed in your motherboard, you're not going to see it. So it's hardly the end of the world. Now, coming to performance, uh, the Gaming X Trio just is pretty, pretty stonky in that regard. Uh, obviously, the factory overclock helps, but the very effective cooler also means GPU Boost 3.0 technology can really take that clock speed quite high. And so I found in games it would stabilize around um, 1961 megahertz, so just under 2 gigahertz, which is fantastic. And that was just in the, well, not the default mode, but that was in OC mode, which uh, doesn't 
enable any manual overclocking. It's just a one-click press to get it, and that's that's where it stayed. So uh, obviously full performance figures over on kitguru.net, but just to give you a couple, uh, Fire Strike 3D Mark Fire Strike, it scored just under 30,000, 30, um, which is about a thousand higher than NVIDIA's Founders Edition 1080 Ti. And then for Fire Strike Ultra, we got just over 7,000, so about 7,100, which is again a fair few hundred points faster than NVIDIA's Founders Edition. It's also a cool and quiet card. The core temperature peaked at 71 degrees, and that was just, just in games with the stock fan curve. I didn't touch the fans for that, for that temperature reading. And it's also about four to five decibels quieter than NVIDIA's Founders Edition, which is similarly impressive. So if you want something that's got the power, but not necessarily the same noise levels, then the Gaming X Trio is probably something well worth considering. So that's pretty much it for this summary video. Overall, it's actually a very good card, very happy with it. Um, the only minor issue is perhaps the red accents, but whether or not that bothers you is, is probably gonna be a personal thing. To me, I don't really mind. Once you stick it in your system anyway, turn off the red LEDs, you're not gonna be able to tell. You've got the lovely little RGB strip there anyway, so that lets you customize the color. But it's very fast, very cool, um, and very quiet. So overall, it's a very good card from MSI. It's the GTX 1080 Ti Gaming X Trio. It costs £769 here in the UK, which is roughly in line with all the other flagships from the likes of Asus, Aorus, um, EVGA. They all have cards, high-end cards priced similarly. So considering this is essentially the new flagship from MSI, the Gaming X Trio definitely comes recommended, uh, well worth buying, and overall I'm very happy with it. It's a fantastic card. So I'm Dominic with Kit Guru. This is the MSI Gaming X Trio.